Welcome back to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. We're going to have a look at DHCP snooping today. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do for DHCP snooping, so the, so the point of DHCP snooping, before I get to that, is to, uh, well, it has really three purposes. One, to protect yourself against man-in-the-middle attacks. Two, to protect against malicious users uh, posing as your DHCP server to cause you disruption. Um, and three, really, to stop rogue DHCP servers, right? So it'll stop someone from bringing in an access point from home and start giving out, you know, 192, 168 addresses on your production network. So uh, it serves three purposes, and it's a fantastic feature to turn on and, and leave on in your environment uh, to protect you from, from multiple things that, that happen on a regular basis in a production environment. Um, so in order to turn it on, we turn it on globally and on a per VLAN basis. So um, on my router here, go into config T, uh, and then I want to do a, let me see what VLANs I have first. Uh, okay, so I only have one VLAN right now. Um, so in order to turn it on on that VLAN, VLAN 1, I do a IP DHCP uh, snooping, um, and then VLAN and one. So if I had multiple VLANs, I'd have to do each VLAN at a time. Now, um, the, the caveat here is that, um, it says my system's not enabled per, per port per VLAN ACLs. Um, so use the global command enable, um, um, ACL per port per VLAN to do so. When I do that, so let me just uh, let me just run that command here. It's going to tell me that I got to write memory and reload. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, you do you have to do that one time. Um, so you know, not to be done in production in the middle of the day, obviously. Uh, but this is required not just for DHCP snooping, but also for its uh, sister features. So dynamic ARP inspection and IP source guard also require that. So if you're going to run any of the those three, then you need to run this command anyway. So, you know, need to do that one time. So uh, I'm not going to wait for the reload here. Uh, so I'm just going to hop over to another router that's already had that done. So, um, so this router, router one, We'll go ahead and uh, and turn on um, IP DHCP snooping onto VLAN one Duh. from config T. All right. So uh, by default, when I turn that on, it's going to turn on snooping on all the ports on the VLAN. So. Um, the good news is they all become untrusted. So at this point you're protected, but you're actually too protected because we haven't told it what ports to trust, right? So we need to trust the actual port where your DHCP server is, is, is plugged into, or at least, um, the uplink pointing to your DHCP server. So, because what DHCP snooping does is it, uh, it will allow DHCP request packets, but if it gets a DHCP offer packet from a DHCP server, it's going to drop that packet. And so in this case, uh, since everything on my VLAN is untrusted, it's going to drop legitimate uh, offer packets from the DHCP server. And that is obviously a problem. So um, if I do a show log here, um, all right, so it, it hasn't had any at this point. So let me uh, let me just do a IP config slash renew from my laptop, and we'll see if we get anything in the log. There we go. Okay, so here you see uh, DHCP snooping on untrusted one slash one slash five drop packet. So I have a DHCP server on one one five, and it's dropping those packets because it's on an untrusted port. So. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to set a trust on that interface. So remember, everything is untrusted by default, so you only need to configure the ports where you want to trust. So we'll go to uh, interface E1 slash 1 slash 5, and we do a DHCP uh, snooping trust. So now we have trust, uh, we have trust on those ports. Um, so 
Look at our show log again. So now I am going to do that uh, IP config slash renew again. And I now should see something different in my log. I do. So uh, snooping on trust 115. So 192.168.1.14. Here's his MAC address. Uh, is mapped to outgoing interface 1 slash 1 slash 2. Um, so uh, this is a legitimate um, DHCP request now came in from from 112 um, with uh, a now its address is is uh, um, 1.19 and there's his MAC address. So um, so that is legitimate. It's also been placed into a um, into a, a snooping table, a DHCP snooping table. Um, so let's have a quick look at that. So if I do a show uh, IP DHCP snooping, well, first of all, let me let me have a look at a few things here. So I can look at um, I could just look at snooping. It tells me what VLANs it's enabled on. So I only have it enabled on VLAN one right now. Uh, we can look at VLAN one, and it tells me all the trusted and untrusted ports as well as the relay agent. Um, which is outside the scope of this, but relay is for uh, IP source guard. Um, and then um, we can look at info on that. So info here, this is my binding table, right? So we just talked about this. So it matched my laptop, which is 192.168.1.19 to its MAC address to port 112. Um, on virtual port VE1, etc. VLAN1. Here's the lease time, and it's in the default VRF. So you can you can also apply VRFs with this if you like. Um, so it builds this binding table, and then that binding table is actually written to Flash. So 30 seconds after a change happens uh, in that binding table, it'll write that into the Flash memory. So when the system reboots, it's still going to have those bindings. And this same binding table is, again, used for dynamic ARP inspection, IP source guard, and DHCP snooping. So it's useful in, in multiple ways. Um, if we wanted to clear that table, we could do a um, clear DHCP. Uh, and then it gives you an option. You can clear uh, everything or clear a particular uh, address. So if I clear DHCP and then look at my flash again, it'll be gone. So if you wanted to clear particular entries or clear the whole table, that's how you would clear that out. Um, but really, that's the basis of it. You just need to turn it on on the VLANs, and then you need to trust the ports where the legitimate DHCP server is. And from then on, if anybody plugs a rogue DHCP server in uh, or uh, you know attempts any sort of malicious activity with DHCP responses to your users, those packets are going to get dropped. Um, but real DHCP requests will always pass through, even from an untrusted port. All right, so that's the basis, and uh, I hope you uh, got something out of this. Thanks for joining.